Hi programmers, we're going to con continue on with our program and what we're going to do today is we're going to update this in out uh, field in the database and in the data grid view. Okay, the first thing we need to do is at the top of the program where we have our static variables I created a new static variable and I said static int and I named it e row index and another thing we need to do uh, I mean, the first time I went to test this I got this uh, message down here system error corrupted file so I had to go up in in our uh, license file and I gave it another year uh, it was like 2009 something and I gave it 2010 so I'll go for another year. So what we need to do is in this paragraph uh, or method, my old COBOL days we call them paragraphs, um, uh, called seg data grid view cell click. If you recall, we was filling up the text boxes whenever they clicked one. Well, we're going to take this new variable and we're going to fill it. We're going to say e row index equals e dot row index and that gives us a number anyway when then we come over here and in I said in this in out and on your events on the leave now if you want to do text change you can if you, because it's only one um, character but I like leave so that's what I did okay so we've got our method for for this and the first thing we do is um, we get seg data grid view and I said one because that was the uh, index of in out field and when I, how I found that out was I just went up here and I looked for in out there it was and I could see that it was one there so I knew it was one and I and then I said one I said seg data grid view one comma and then I called it e row index now that was the one that we filled up and saved uh, as soon as it was clicked and then I said dot value equals and I said in out text box three dot text dot to upper now that's kind of I'll put that at the top so that you could see it change like even if we put something invalid like an X or a Y it's still going to change that it's not going to change it in the database because it's going to give us that um, error message and make us redo it but um, I just wanted you to see that it will change the value okay then we had our validating and I did that with a switch in a case and you know I said if it was I then we said it was a I and I checked for two upper because so like they could do a lowercase and then I changed it to uppercase and then I said update this seg which we created that weeks and weeks ago and I sent it like the PRE text box three dot text and then I converted the weak text box to an integer and then the next one I converted the seg ID to an integer too but I did it differently just you know I like to do things different because I forget how to do things and I like to be able to look in my programs and look them up different ways to doing things so I did it two different ways but if you want to do them both the same way that's fine too and the database field name that I use is in quotes and it's got bracket in dash out dash F and a close brackets in a quote and then I send in an I okay and that you have to remember to send it the quotes with it okay so we've got a starting quote and then we've got that um, the, that slash that's over there underneath the back slash key and then another quote and that means uh, I want two quotes there and then you send it the I and then you did the same thing and you did that for in and out and then if it wasn't an I and it wasn't an O then they got an error message and anyway I did some debugging at first I had it at the bottom part you can see this green that I commented out and I could delete that but I want to leave it there for the next time in case I forget like if I ever have any characters or something I'll have to remember to send those quotes with it and so I just leave this here for now and I'll delete it out later alrighty well, let's see how this works okay now I have not created any records uh, for myself today so we're just going to do a couple of weeks ago 69 okay 
we'll take record four, and then like um, I'm going to I'm going to give an invalid character right here, so you can see the error message, and you can see that it does change it in the grid view. I'm going to give it an X, and I'm going to leave the field. See, I get my error message, and then you see the X was also changed, even though, but it's not going to stay changed. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to give it back an I. Now that's wrong. We don't want an I there, but but it is a valid character. So we're going to give it an I, and I'm giving it a small I, and it changed everything to uppercase and back there. So I'm going to, uh, you can see when I go and rebuild the grid, you can see everything's going to be all messed up because I got two I's there. But anyway, we're going to change that back to an O. Yeah, and then um, we'll leave that filled and it'll re build the grid and later on um, uh, we might think of a different way to do this we might think of just editing these fields um, instead of down at the bottom but for now we're just going to edit down at the bottom okay so um, you guys work on that and that's all for today bye